is our big problem. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. He's done everything wrong. Very interesting moment there. The short clip a lot there. So there's, it looks like they're authentic Trump supporters because they're only going after Joe Biden. Donald Trump didn't expect it, so he turns around. This, this looks to be a real moment here. They don't look like to be, they don't look to me, I'm not sure, but they don't look like fake MAGA. They look like real Trump supporters because they're going only at Joe. And Trump turns around, he's not expecting it. Genocide, Joe! Genocide, Joe! Genocide, Joe! Trump is so good in these moments, these real-time moments. His political instincts are unmatched, it, like on the fly like this. So he doesn't know it's going to happen, in my opinion. You can see it in, by the look on his face. He turns around, he just wants to see what's going on. And I think it's what's in his head is, he knows that that could be turned on. It should be turned on him, too. So let's look how it plays out again. So then Trump takes it, and he, Trump kind of goes away from the mic to let the moment pass. There's no need to go back and forth or anything like that, and they're not going at him. So he says they're not wrong. That's what he says there. It's low. You might not be able to hear it. He says they're not wrong. So then the Trump crowd now, the MAGA crowd, gets a little uncomfortable. Why are they uncomfortable? Because that doesn't make any sense. The sequence of events that just happened right in front of their very eyes does not make sense. Why would you say genocide Joe, but Donald Trump supports the same thing? You think his position is different than Joe Biden's? There's not one person, including Thomas Massey, that has a different opinion on this. The crowd knows that. They're not cheering with the Genocide Joe chant. They're trying to drown, drown out the Genocide Joe chant. Why would they do that? They wouldn't try to drown out a Let's Go Brandon because that's the generic fluff. Let's go Brandon, let's go Brandon. This one's more specific. This is calling Joe pro-genocide. Why are they uncomfortable? Because MAGA has become, and this is the divide. I, I told you this is coming. It ain't going nowhere. I've had a lot of people unfollow me, block me. Uh, Robert Barnes blocked me. Uh, Ron Coleman blocked me. These are guys I respect, like. I mean, we. I'm not changing my take for, for anybody. Um, but, and I could understand because I'm very heavy anti that country over there. Very, very. So I mean, it could be too much. I mean, it's perfectly fine. But... And I don't really talk about these politics in person with anybody, really, um, in depth. It's just so, so people don't know what's going on, and it's it's a lot. But with the you know, people online, a lot of people unfollow people. I like. I don't, I don't even know if Deb per, uh, Deb Deb Filman follows me anymore. I like her a lot. This is the divide. I'm not calling them MAGA, but this is the divide where we are. And you know. Maybe a lot of grapers kind of have started following me on X, and we might have beef too because Nick, I don't know how Nick supports this. And then I just did a video on Marco Rubio potentially being his VP pick. He's looking at least Stefanik. These are some of the most corrupt A people with the that country over there and their influence here in America. They're probably one, they're one of the most corrupt. So, so much to the point that I'm on a video talking about Donald Trump and MAGA. I, I, I kind of wonder if I say the name of the country, does the video just not do as well, maybe? I don't know. Because that Google owns this platform. Google has project, which they are providing cloud services for that country over there. They also support them by hiring ex-agents of that country over there. And this country here depends on that country over there. So if you're on... The platform of the company, do you really have free speech? And a lot of people argue you don't have free speech on this, these platforms that are in these fascistic relationships. Problematic. I'm out on 
out on Donald Trump. This is, uh, there's too much. Pro that country over there, pro the sunflower country, pro big pharma. At what point, bruh? And don't have time for retribution. Don't have time for revenge. What do I need you for? Marco Rubio potentially as VP. What do I need you for? What are you doing for me? What What's the large big issue thing that you're behind that I need you in the right place? That's the That's the divide here. So when you bring up Joe, that whole room, everything I just talked about, the door opens up to start saying, "What? These, there's a lot of problems here. Saying that you don't like Biden is not enough for me. It's not If it's enough for you, I respect that. Go do you. It, it ain't even close to me. I even go to the point of maybe we need, maybe I should vote Biden. Maybe we need the boot on our neck a little bit, our collective necks a little bit harder before we realize this ain't it. This won't cut it. That's not to diss Trump. 2016 was magical, very important. I wouldn't be here in the same political mindset if it wasn't for Steve Bannon, Trump, and others. Clear now, this isn't where I'm at anymore, though. It, this is not 2016 anymore. You see this woman right here is uncomfortable, so I'm bringing it back. I'm noticing stuff while watching this. So the genocide, Joe, this is a lot, man. This is only like 20 seconds, 27 seconds, amazing clip. So they're saying, and she's uncomfortable. You can just see it. Even with the bad quality video, she's uncomfortable. She's got that fake smile on her face. Trump blocked her, but she was looking over. She was surprised by that. She might not even understand what that means. She might be you know, pro that country over there. So then she looks at her man in a second because she's a little uncomfortable. Or I don't know if it's her man, but whoever, whatever dude's in, next to her. I see I'm watching this woman. And she's clearly, to me, looks clearly uncomfortable. So then now these other MAGA supporters, they're cheering to drown them out. Why would you drown out? That's intent. Why would you drown out a chant that's specifically at Joe? Why are you uncomfortable, MAGA? Why would you be uncomfortable with that? Because you know in the back of your head that means you too and Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump has never said what that country is doing over there is unacceptable and is genocide and they're my friends. It hurts me to even say that, but I'm just saying if I were Trump, <laughs> they're my friends. Ugh, I need a barf bag. <laughs> that country's my friend. They're my ally. Ugh. They're my ally. But, friend, if you don't stop unliving innocent people in the, the ghetto, your south side ghetto, then we're not going to be friends anymore. What that other country's doing over there is the equivalent of the suburbs in the north side of Chicago deciding there's too much gang activity re leaking out that came into our area, and we're going to carpet eliminate the whole, the whole thing. We're taking down the buildings, everything, the innocent women, children, men, and we're, we're going to do it to find a few of the gang members. It'd be that's the same thing that they're doing. And you're saying genocide Joe, but Donald Trump supports that other country. And so do half the people there, or probably 80%, 75% of the people there. Some of them are coping and acting like Trump doesn't support it. You need to get out of that cope. If you want to support him and he still supports it, do that. Don't lie to yourself, though. That's not healthy. So they're cheering to drown them out. Pretty soon you're going to hear boos. Ooh, why were there boos? Why are you booing? They're not wrong. They're so then Trump hears the boos, and then he says they're not wrong <laughs> because they're going after Joe, not him. He's uncomfortable. That's why he's moving his hat. They're not wrong. He's done everything wrong. Think he is a he played it off very well. Well played, sir. Let me know what you think in the comments. I ain't buying it. Middle MAGA.